Tadá! A lot of factors actually matter. So the size of your grind, um, the kind of paper that you use, the water composition that you're gonna use, the actual brand or the grinder itself, um, the brewer, even the pouring technique, a lot of different variables um, have to be considered if you are brewing competitively. And um, today we are discussing one of those variables. This is a Kafek Abacup filter and this is your normal Hario paper filter. Right. So um, let's examine it. So the Abaca Plus has a texture inside. Yeah, if you can see. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take a picture of this so that you can see the inside of it. Right, so the Abaca Plus um, Cafec paper filter has a texture inside while while the Hario paper filter has a texture inside as well, but not that much. If you feel it with your fingers, the, the paper of Hario is actually smooth inside. Yeah, it is very smooth and the texture is just outside. While the Abaca filters are rough, rough inside. Now, again, if you are brewing at home and you're just brewing for yourself, this wouldn't matter that much. But in the world of competitive brewing, this matters a lot. Right, so for today's video, um, we're going to test what are the effects of um, using the Kafek Abaca Plus paper filters versus the Hario um, regular paper filters, right? We're gonna use a normal uh, coffee server to catch the water dripping. Okay, that's 100 ml. Right, now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna time it without the coffee grounds, right? Okay, I'm gonna pour 100 ml and timer. Okay, it took exactly ah, 14 seconds. We're gonna put some coffee grounds to it. Okay, we have 15 grams of coffee there. Now that the coffee is fully saturated, um, I think we can do the test properly. I'm gonna tear this and then I'm gonna time it. Okay, so the water flow that we're getting is around 4 grams per second. And then we actually finished at 43 seconds. So now we're gonna do all the tests with the Kafek Abaca Plus filters. Um, we're gonna prepare the Kafek Abaca Plus filter. Same fold. I'm just gonna wet the paper filter first. Let's measure 100 grams again. One hundred ML in. Visually, it looks faster. 
okay but it actually finished a lot longer than the Hario right so with that coffee grounds the Abaca Plus paper actually finished at 21 seconds the Hario paper filter earlier finished at 14 seconds right now we're gonna put some coffee into it we're gonna measure 15 grams okay and then we're gonna bloom it twice so that we get all the gases out before doing the test okay and one more time to get the gases out and clean the sides of the v60 all right now we're gonna measure 100 ml okay again i'm holding the dripper so that we can see the flow rate of the water and then we're gonna time it okay um the flow rate right now is around 2.8 to 3 and then it actually slowed down yeah it actually slowed down to 1.3 and 1.2 Okay, and then it finished later than the than the Hario paper. Finished at one minute and three seconds. So, what does this tell us? Um, I think the paper filter of the Kafek Abaca Plus, which has texture inside, the the purpose of this is to catch. It is to catch the microfine particles, right? By doing this, you can actually reduce the amount of bypass going through your paper filter. So again, the bypass is the water that did not pass through coffee grounds. So if you have a volume of water on top of the coffee bed, um, they are simply trying to escape, right? Because of the pressure, they're simply trying to escape down. And because of the gravity pulling them down, um, if you have microfine particles on most of your walls because of the texture the 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 drawdown of the water will obviously slow down with the hario paper filter actually actually i think i need to take a photo of this the walls of the kafek abaca filter um you can clearly see the microfine particles on it yeah so you can actually see the amount of microfine particles in there while the walls of the Hario paper filter does not have the microfine particles. You can actually either play this to your advantage. Number one, the Kafek Abaca Plus, if you bring the water up so, so that you can push the microfine particles to the walls, then you will have um, a better tasting coffee because of the saturation of the water with the coffee grounds, right? On the other hand, um, this will slow down your um, drawdown. If you use a good grinder that does not produce a lot of microfine particles, and then you manage to push it to the sides of the walls, then it's gonna be a good day for you. Um, on the other hand, if you're using a Hario um, paper filter, which is evidently not catching the microfine particles to the walls of the paper. Um, you can use this to your advantage if your grinder is producing a lot of microfine particles, right? Because you can bring all the microfine particles to the surface, right? There are many ways that you can look at the results of this, but clearly that is what is happening. With the Kafek Abaca Plus paper, the microfine particles stick to the walls because of the texture and the Hario paper filter um, does not catch the microfine particles to the walls of the paper. So you can draw your own conclusions, um, especially with the competitive brewers out there. Um, but yeah, maybe we can do more experiments in the future. Maybe we can try and test the difference in taste and flavor. But for now, 
Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!